It's a very nice balance if you are a person that would like to smell. I like a thin mint. I'm here, this is delicious packaging, okay? Hello friendos and welcome to my channel. I am BD and if this is your first time here, hey girl, you look cute. And if you are a returning viewer, a subscriber to the BD Presents channel, what goody three times in a row, okay? We are back to back to back, okay? And I am so happy because I miss you guys when I'm away. I love you all and I am so thankful for you. We are well over 2,000 subscribers at this point. Thank each and every one of you for being a part of the Elevated Greeting Gang. No matter what video brought you here, I am so happy that you are here and I hope that you will continue to rock with me and I pray that God blesses you and gives you all the desires of your heart as long as you stay obedient and you keep his commandments and you stay in that word, okay? And talk to him daily, okay? Talk to the man because he wants to hear from you. He wants to get to know you on that personal level, okay? And we talk to everyone else. You know what I mean? Make a little time for the Father because he loves us and he wants to hear from us. And I want you to be happy and blessed beyond measure. So yeah. But anyway, you see what happens when you are a subscriber to the BD Presents channel? You get a bit of an elevated, enhanced. And I want that for all of you, but you got to hit the button, okay? It's just a little red button. It's just like a little doorbell. You know what I mean? A YouTube doorbell. Ding dong. I'm here to the BD Presents house. And it just lets me know that you're here, which I love to know that you're here. We got crackers. got little assorted cheeses. You know what I mean? A little uh, charcuterie board. You know what I mean? Charcuterie bootery. We got a little bit of that. You know, would you like a little wine? Would you like a little little grape juice? I could make you a mocktail. You know what I mean? I could even make you a nice latte. Have a video on that right here. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to. I'll leave it in the description box below. But yes, would love to have you here. So yes, that is what happens when you are a subscriber. But yeah, now that we got all of that out of the way, chill out, friendos. We are back because the things are here and I am inclined to talk about them because this is the most exciting to me. Winter seasonal by here, it's been in, in several years. It ain't been this lit in a minute. And there's just so much to see and I'm so excited about it. So I had to pop right back in and share this new collection from Victoria's Secret, okay? It is the Apre Snow, okay? A little cozy, got a little cozy sweater on for the moment. And because it's supposed to be all like sophisticated and snowy, that little pearl moment, you know what I mean? But yes, we are talking about Miss Victoria's Secret because she will not she refuses to lose, and I love that, okay? Determination, we like it, all right? And knocking it out of the park, if you ask me. I like the new, and you know, she's bringing it. Now, for this Apre Snow Collection, which Apre, I'm familiar with the term from like the Apre Gel X Nails. That's, I think, when I first for real heard about that. But yeah, apparently, there's like a play on Apre Ski, which is, fancy French term apre for the things that you do after a little day of skiing, you know what I mean? And this collection really is evoking that, you know? In this collection, we have four scents, as I mentioned, and those scents are Snowdrift, Sun Slope, Frost Melt, and Night Sip, okay? There's a fine fragrance and lotion for each of those scents, so let's jump in and talk about them. For this collection, the description reads as follows. From slopeside to fireside, experience a winter chalet filled with notes of frozen berries, arctic coconut, and hot chocolate, okay? Pair with the matching fragrances, because I'm on the lotion page. But anyway, for this first scent that I'm gonna talk about is Sun Slope. It is icy coconut and amber. It is a woody gourmand, and it has notes of glowing amber, warm musk, and icy coconut. 
So I smell everything in the store. The collection is both online and in store. The icy coconut amber scent smells exactly like what it reads as. Coconut and amber, not particularly anything abnormal or particularly unique. Just an amber scent with coconut. To me, the coconut was the predominant note, but it is kind of wrapped in a little bit of musk. It wasn't something that I gravitated toward. I'm not a big coconut person anyway. I think I only truly like, I think it's the, it's not even coconut for real, I don't think, but it was the Coco Paradise, I wanna say, from Bath & Body Works. I'll put a picture up on the screen and a thumbnail because I did a video for that scent. That was really one of the only like coconutty scents that I was like, hmm, okay. Typically not a fan. Amber too, it has its moments with me. I'll take that over coconut most times. But yeah, this one, if you're a fan of amber and coconut or one or the other, I would say you'll probably like it, but not something I think you'll necessarily be like blown away by. And that scent again was called Sun Slope. Now the next one is the one that I was thinking I was gonna be most excited about, which is Snow Drift. This is frozen berries and jasmine. The packaging, as you can see, gorgeous. The packaging for all of them, gorgeous. And I'm gonna get more into it when I talk about the scent that I actually did pick up. But for this one, Snowdrift, frozen berries and jasmine, it is a fruity floral with frozen berries, lemon jasmine, and cool tangerine. The berry and nectarine, it was just kind of reminiscent of a lot of the berry scents that they've been doing in the past couple of seasons. I would take probably berry spill over it if I had to have something berry for the season. I'm still wearing this one throughout the rest of the year. This one came out in the summer as part of their like Barbie thing. I really like this one. I didn't think that, and the notes for it are strawberry and orange and blonde woods. To me, if you're gonna talk about berries and orange or citrus, in a comparison, I would definitely recommend the berry spill. Snow drift is cute, okay? If you can't find berry spill, which you may not be able to, I think it's still online, but if you're more of a I wanna shop in store person and you see snow drift, Go ahead, it's not gonna be as strawberry for it. To me, this was more raspberry, kind of cranberry mixed with the orange, but it wasn't like in your face, you really have to have it. And I was quite disappointed because I thought I was really gonna love that one, but didn't feel like I needed to have it. The scent that to me, I believe most people are absolutely going to gravitate toward is this next one, and it is Frost Milk. It is the Fresh Mint and Chocolate. A little background. For years, most of my life, I was like, I don't understand the concept, you know what I mean, of a chocolate and mint. Why? Chocolate is already enough. Why would you need to tamper it with the mint? I never understood that until the Girl Scouts of the US of A dropped that thin mint on me, and I was like, I get it now. You know what? They do it, and they do it well is not giving really peppermint patty, which is just that absolute no. I love you, girl. If you love those, we are still cool. But for me, I'm gonna go the Thin Mint route. Also, I like peppermint bark, okay? I know, not everyone's. But the Ghirardelli peppermint bark and the dark chocolate moment, delectable. Highly recommend it. Don't know if I wanna smell like it on the body. The notes for this are Violet Petals. No, that's not right. They got the notes wrong. <laughs> they have the notes wrong on the website, but the notes for the mint one are Fresh Mint, Hot Chocolate, and Whipped Pistachio. It's a Sweet Aromatic Gourmand is the category. It smelled great, not gonna lie. Not overly minty, not toothpaste. It's a nice refined mint. And the chocolate was given bittersweet, but not super bitter, not syrupy sweet, not artificially sweet, not giving Tootsie Roll. It's a very nice balance if you are a person that would like to smell like a thin mint, but that's just not my vibe. So I was like, unfortunately, this one is not going to be the one. Mint Frost Melt will probably be out of this collection, the one that people talk about the most. But for moi, the one that 
I'm afraid a lot of people are gonna sleep on is this night slip. That is the one that I got out of this collection. You know I am an advocate of only buying what you truly like, okay? Even for the purposes of what I do, which is reviews of different products, I only want to be authentic with you all, so I'm only going to actually purchase something that I know I would actually use because nobody got time to be wasting no money, okay? The time is now to save. All right, and so I even got these on a deal. And you know, I highly recommend that as well. Buy on a deal and wait it out. Don't be in a rush, okay? It's gonna be there. So don't rush, don't worry about it, you know what I mean? But yes, this is Night Sip. Before I talk about this actual scent, I'm gonna get into the back room. As I mentioned, the packaging for this collection is adorable. They went with the snowy, blizzardy, mountainy route, and I love that for them. For this particular scent, purple. You see what I did there? Yes, so they went with purple, beautiful, ombre-esque purple, light lavender. You got like a deep mid-tone, varying shades of purple on here. It looks very regal with the gold metallic tops. You know, I love that signature from them. Most importantly, and the most like unique part of this is that it is a textured packaging. So you can feel like what is going to give you the, I guess, feeling of snowflakes. Love that, okay? And they actually kind of glisten too, like ice. I'm here, this is delicious packaging, okay? I love stuff like this. I think it looks beautiful on display, feels great in the hands, and it's just cute. On the back of the lotion, it says, champagne bubbles light up violet and cedar wood, taking in the night. And it says the same thing on the fragrance list. The category for this, let's go ahead and go to the website. It is a woody floral. The notes are by the petal, champagne bubbles, and toasted cedar wood. Yes. I've already smelled it. We're gonna do a refresher. <sighs> wow. This reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on it, but it reminds me of a scent. I don't know if it's a candle, from Bath and Body Works or what. But this absolutely evokes Snowy Lodge, cashmere blanket, like winter, but a sophisticated take. It is a floral, so you get that violet. To me, that is the predominant note is the violet, but it's very soft, almost powdery here. And that might be because of that cedar wood. Hmm. Champagne bubbles, I think I, I get a hint of that. I'm not particularly sure what that translates to in terms of this accord, but for me, I smell the violet and that cedar wood, and it smells like a cabin, like you're in a cabin, you have on your nice wool sweater, you got some cute earmuffs on, like it's giving just a soft, powdery, woodsy, Floral. And I think to me, this is very sophisticated. The berry scent is nice, but it's playful. The mint chocolate also to me a playful scent. Then the coconut and amber to me would be in this kind of realm of like, they want to make it a little bit more polished. But to me, this is the unique one out of the bunch. Next to the mint chocolate, although a lot of people are doing mint chocolate things which we'll talk about in another video coming out. But yes, to me, this is the one. I think this is beautiful. I think this is nice for a nice dinner, a nice date night in the, the colder temps. Mm, a nice wear to work scent too. And if you're going to a ski lodge, go ahead and get night sip because it's giving sophistication with your nightcap of a champagne toast. I think this one is the one to get. I recommend it. I think it is not only gorgeous packaging, but a very unique scent. And I like a powdery moment. And it, it's hard to find powdery scents. I feel like not a lot of brands definitely embody here. I don't see it too often unless it's like super baby powder, which I love too, but sometimes you want something a little bit more elevated. And I think this one gets it on the head, okay? So that is Night Sip. That is the collection, the Apres Snow. Let me know in the comments below, are you feeling the vibe? 
for this collection. I particularly feel like this one is dope. They could have did something else for the area. I'm a little disappointed. But they got more on the way. I have more on the way. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know, hey, people like these types of videos. Let's share them with other folks. You know what I mean? So it's a great help to me. I genuinely appreciate it. And if you enjoy all things winter body hair, seasonal body hair, Victoria's Secret haul type videos, definitely feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you. So next time when you see the video and get the greeting, you're like, yeah, that's for me. But yes, thank you all so much for watching. God bless you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.